All right. How's everybody doing? How you doing, brother? What's going on, brother? How's How going doing? on? Uh, not much, not much. Just here. How's the, how's the new year coming along for you? Uh, oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. You know, you know, I just I just send you a screenshot of the mm -hmm. things that are coming up. Oh, man, we started. In, we started I'm, in, I'm a little happy myself, too. We so. started strong, brother. Like yeah. I, I got a couple of pieces that honestly, I thought it was just on me. I been let's say like I, not that it was gonna be harder to find, but a little I've bit been, more difficult. I've man. been struggling to find, uh, even even I, I told myself I'm just gonna slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm also proud of the picks. It was very hand picked the things that exactly, I got coming. Yeah. It's it's a it's a nice set of figures and then a weapon here and another mm -hmm. like. Like I'm excited. I'm excited for the for the next uh, few weeks. For some the of calls. So, some of them is one of them is coming from from Germany. Another package is coming from Spain. Uh, another one's from Japan. So you like, really you really all oh, over man, the place. You really going in, huh? 2024. You're man, I think good. I have my I have more packages coming from overseas than than than, than from from the states. I have I have uh, two packages coming from Japan on different different subjects different lines mm -hmm. then i have one from germany germany uh and then from spain i have and all of those are exclusives of those countries right so from spain is some pvc i, I think i think that's what makes it even that feeling much better because you're finding yeah. that little piece that you need mm -hmm. to complete or to add and to a vast collection that you pretty much have Everything you need, but now you need these little pieces. Kind of like complement it yeah. and, uh -huh. and that, that, ac yeah. accessories to find. To, to. So uh, I didn't realize. And I was like, oh, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. And then I saw my list. And I just get a screenshot and send it to you. I'm like, jeez, man, I'm excited about what's yeah, coming. Like, I, I, I bet. I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat as well. I'm right? finding pieces that are a little difficult to find. And uh, I, I said what I wanted to do is mini bots and. I'm mm -hmm. getting there. I'm You're happy. getting there. I'm getting there now. I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's 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 what I like, man. You know, we, we could talk to each other and, and congratulate each other, and you know, be happy for one another. That you know, not not throw shade or, yeah, or yeah. hate it. Why did you get that? Or oh, oh, you paid too much? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just congratulating each other, man. I think that's that's what makes it a little bit more when you could come to a friend. Hey, look what I got. All oh, you can share. Yeah, yeah. that I don't know. I feel like I find it like very very. I don't know, pleasing, relaxing, chilling to have a friend that ah sounds very lovey dovey, but but it yeah, really but do it truly is, man. It truly is because you work it, hard for your money, you and know, then you, you sometimes you share it with some people, and like you're like ah, I think you paid too much or nah. Yeah. Oh, why did you get that? Why you you could have got it cheaper for me, uh, yeah, or, or, or you, you could, yeah, you could have got it cheaper. I could have found it for less or. That's not even that high. And then so that you're asking like, the whole, you all, you're, you're asking half of the world, hey, can you find <laughs> this for me? And then they never, you never get no kind of. In, you know, Re response. Your response back, and then once you get it, oh, I kinda got it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, man, yeah. That's, that, that's I hate that. I hate when that happens. Well, I hate when they say that because there's yeah. lies. Anyways, but <laughs> but no, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think I think we're starting strong. Yeah. Not necessarily like, and we're not buying expensive. I mean, I mean, no, it, that's, it, that's a cool thing. It's not super crazy expensive. It's just hard to find, and, and mm -hmm. now you now with the experience, you start digging in more and then you know where to dig in yeah right so now like i'm not just yeah because gone. i mean we're not uh, yeah i mean you're not picking anything up from me we're used to going on ebay we find some stuff on ebay yes yes that's true but mm -hmm. now we're actually getting in contact with people you know yeah uh, behind, overseas, yeah, yeah, overseas or, or uh -huh. and then just you know that's what's awesome man you got people that are honestly they're they're starting to look at the youtube channel Mm -hmm. they're noticing you know that what, what, what we're like and i really i really do appreciate that guys you yeah. know they're, they're yeah, one of the guys reached out like from mm -hmm. from japan and like hey he 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 saw that that we were trying to find like just hey do you guys need anything i'm like yeah of course he's trying to make you know a buck or he yeah. that's fine but that's fine it's, it's a finder's fee you 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 help me out and yeah but it's still gonna be way cheaper than you find it here or you're so, finding it in general or just finding anything in general yeah. yes of course no no it's pretty cool um and I guess with the experience that that only times give you, you you, mm -hmm. you start like you start learning where to dig, uh, how to offer, how to how to handle, how yeah, to definitely. how to handle your your sometimes your desperation, 
If, not to, being impatient, being yes, impatient I, sometimes I, I think that's, plays against you. I believe that that honestly is something that I'm not gonna say a new collector, but with with time you start learning a bit. Of, uh, cause, I mean, I, I just recently also started being a little bit more patient because I was impatient. I was at times buying an mm. item that was a little bit more or not a lot more over market. Yeah. But because I know how long it took me to get in, I like I just don't want to. You just don't want to let it pass. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes it's it's understandable, but then there's times like, you know what? And then one pops out later on for a little mm. cheaper. Like, oh, man. So yeah. It's just but it's little, always yeah. like that. It's never been in the market. It hasn't been on the market for the past six months, mm-hmm. eight months. And then all of a sudden it, it pops up. But when it pops up with a, with a, um, a, a high price mm-hmm. and then somebody like you or I or like, hey, we, we <laughs> want it. You and we I get it. it. We get it. And then all of a sudden, the next month, something comes up or the next couple of weeks because they saw it sold for yeah. for a high price. Mm-hmm. And then now they're trying to. And then, but now all of a sudden, they're popping everywhere. That's I'm like, like oh, you finesse the market like that. That's that's how it, just pretty much that's how it goes. Circle I don't really, of life, guys. Circle yeah. of life. That's that's what we go through as a collector. I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones that mm-hmm. has had that, you know. And that's what I've said in the past. Too. That's what I've said in the past is like, no matter how much you're spent, or at least for me, no matter how much I spend on one piece, whether it's like over market or under whatever, I try not to get too excited or too sad or I just, I'm happy. I'm content with the piece mm-hmm. that I get, but I'm not trying to look like how look back at how much I spent yes. because then new and on our pieces might come up half a price or whatever or in better condition and then if you're just going to be looking at the price that you're just going to stop enjoying the figures right so you well, yeah, you, you put, stop you, you put in your absolutely your, yes you put in your your your, your side or you put in your your uh, uh let's like let's say the, the 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 your mood because at the end of the day mm-hmm. a, a, a nice piece like this like it changed your mood yeah. right so oh, this is, i'm happy for this you one. enjoy that, that's but the when you, you enjoy yeah but when you start looking at the price tag and then if you see another one that pops out like half price and then like you're starting like oh man mm-hmm. you stop enjoying the figure because of the price and, and, that, and so that being said I, I think that has a lot to do with people getting upset when you open a figure you know because mm-hmm. they're looking at more of a i understand you know respecting what you know what their opinion is but when they started going at you because you opened your figure that that's you know that that's an enjoyment that you have that's how the way you want to collect it and so. and they're looking only at, at the at the, the, at value. the at the value of it as 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 a, yes it's a collectible but but i mean at the end of the day well first of all it's your money it's mm-hmm. your figure but it's just it's what makes you happy man yeah. like we're all in this just because somehow we find this is our for passion it. Yeah. for it. This is our passion. This is our, our, our hobby. And this is somehow affects your mood. Like it changes exactly. your, your, your the, the, So yeah, you, you're used to the outside world, you know, dealing with work, dealing and sometimes you want to come and just sit in front of your figures and just enjoy just looking at them. And uh, exactly. And, and then, but, but when you start looking at the price tag and then it's only, and of course you have to right? So you, you're not going to go crazy mm-hmm. and you just like spend the whole paycheck on just one figure when it could have been, you know, different or whatever. You have to be conscious on, on mm-hmm. what you're buying. But at the same time, if you have really been looking at peace for, for a year or months or whatever, and then you finally find it. And even though you know that you're paying a little bit more than the normal. I mean, if it makes you happy, you yeah. know, so I mean, if it's going to the PC, I think, I think most more so people that, I'm not going to say the resellers, but hardcore collectors look at, I think the number one thing they look at is value. Mm-hmm. And that's why I feel like sometimes they, they're just the, the one that I like to preserve figures, you know, even if the, the, the card is a beater or, or, or the bubbles mm-hmm. damn near crushed, they still would just keep it sealed in the, in the package. Like, no, you know, if, if I want to open it, then I'm going to open it, but that doesn't mean it's losing. Now, if, if I'm opening it and all of a sudden you see me chunking it, against the wall and, and breaking it you know then then i would understand at the end of the day yeah. still is your is your it's figure still, but you yeah you're provoking the, the crowd yeah exactly that, that, that's, so, that's you're poking the, the bear like yeah, yeah and and but and that's what i'm getting at is is at the end of the day it's it's your figure do what you want as please you know it's your money you spend the money on it but you know there's like i said there's people that that are a little bit more hardcore more hardcore collectors that they I, they're I really think, looking to preserve the yeah I I think it's it's just disrespectful just looking at something being opened, I mean I I would honestly I would feel disrespected if if uh, oh it would not disrespected but it would hurt me a little bit if I seen somebody 
get a scratch the cat figure and and just chunk it against the wall and it, mm. oh, you know things yeah. like that it'd be that'd be like wow that guy's crazy you know but it, it wouldn't put me to be like well I don't like that guy no more. I'm not gonna follow him. Yeah, no yeah, more I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 nothing. Like people take it something too serious. Yeah. What other people do with their collection, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, is their collection. Yeah. They want to sell it. If they want to give it away, if they want to destroy it, they don't want to burn it. It is their collection. Yeah. At the end of the day, shouldn't I, be affecting I, we, you. We we seen guys run over figures. You know? Yeah. I'm not gonna say wow. their names. Yeah. But he was <laughs> running over a, a splinter, <laughs> so he he wasn't he wasn't making too much of a dent on his collection, but but yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, and that's one of the things. Like, I, I feel like we started talking, and then just kind of like it, it, it led us, uh, you know, automatically to to what I, I feel like we wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. And it's like when I mentioned, you know, with experience, you know where to dig in and and how to start like hand picking mm -hmm. your battles. Let's say yeah. that yeah. when you start like a a, a, a war, a bidding war, when to stop, when to get out, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and it only. All that comes with experience. So I feel like I wanted to talk about a little bit more about, about maybe experiences of when I was, when we were like, how do you use like ro rock, rookie moves? Well, you can say noob. noob well, newbies. Newbies, newbies, like, yeah. yeah, newbie moves or rookie moves rookie or moves. Uh, all things that, that you do when you start collecting that probably, if you're not in the, in the like in the community, mm -hmm. if you don't have a lot of time, um, collecting you may you know make these mistakes so you're gonna yeah, you're gonna make mistakes we're, we're, we're gonna talk about experiences yeah. that we've had and and learning that, learning from it learning, learning from learning other people things mm -hmm. like that yeah so so we can start with that and I, honestly i don't have a list or i don't have a, i think it's just gonna be a, a honestly a, 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 a if, rain. We could, if we could remember it's because it stayed embedded it, in it, our head exactly so and that's one of the things like we can start with that because we, we started talking about the 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 you know the Sometimes jump in too early or just paint a little bit too much mm -hmm. out of desperation, being impatient, right? So I think that's one of the biggest uh, or more more most common mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like the impatient on a collector is going to make you pay a lot of money. Yes. So rule number one, guys, be rule patient. Be patient. Well, there's gonna be a lot of the rules. Number one, but <laughs> but that's the main but, rule. But that's one I mean, of them. Yeah. That's, that's because I mean, it. It, believe it or not, I mean, once once like you said, we don't you don't look at that. But once you start looking back, you're like, man, that's that's a lot of money. I, I could and I could have waited. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I could have waited. I could have spent it on more figures, uh, and exactly what I was saying. Like, try not to to let you affect it mm -hmm. when you overpay for something or you see another figure coming out for like same figure for for much less. Try not to let it affect you. Still enjoy your figures, but but that's when you start learning to be patient to yeah. to not jump on the first you know figure that that no matter how long you've been looking for it, there's always one that's gonna come up after. Yeah. Like, no matter how hard it is, unless it's a prototype. Nine, nine times out and of ten, and then I, I let go a prototype that now you have, and I like that's kind of like one of the regrets that I have. But <laughs> but still, you know, I, I it was it was a. Uh, um, I mean, you still had the option to get it because I offered it, and you're like, yeah. Like, well, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, we maybe we can trade later. Maybe, maybe oh, we can trade. okay, okay. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty penny for that, you know. <laughs> but, but I mean, it's still a nice, a nice figure. So, no, uh, I think I think being patient will pay up. Mm -hmm. My one of I don't want to say mistakes, but lessons that I had to learn. There you go. Let's put it like that. It was that. It's being patient. Now, I can give you reasons why I was being impatient. I was still, even though I was impatient, I feel like I was still getting good deals because yeah. I was getting bulks. When you get bulks of figures, you get a better price. You get uh, a lot. You're you get about a lot. Get a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But one of my my rushes was to to one of the big rushes was to to kind of. Um, Fill up the the shelves. Okay. So it was it was I need to I need to, especially when I when I started like cause when I built the first side. I don't know if y'all know the story about how I started. Like I I built one side of yeah. the cave, and that's where I started like putting turtles figures that mm -hmm. I already had. Before that, I had some you know some shelves, and then I had some turtles, some uh, silver hawks, stuff like that. So when I built the first uh, corner, mm -hmm. I kind of like already had the figures for it, right? So yeah. Like I built it for the figures, 
the issue was when I built the second set, the set, the other corner of the uh -huh. cave, there was a lot of empty spaces. And that's so like, you crazy, right? I, exactly. Yeah. So I was like, I, I want to, I want to fill them in. And I guess I still enjoy, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. I still enjoy every bit mm -hmm. of it, but I think on some figures, uh, I feel like I, 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 yeah, there's some, I could have waited. Let's put it like yeah. I could have waited a little bit longer to to get it, mm -hmm. but I feel like that seasoned me. Mm -hmm. It made me understand that you know you don't have to jump in every single. Yeah, I mean, if you have an empty if the, an empty shelf, that would be like, man, you know what? It's gonna motivate you mm -hmm. at least motivation. But it's another thing where you're just impatient just to buy. Yeah, as, but, as, but but it's motivation and all that. It's motivation but, to make you want to get now, it. But now, I, I, like, for example, I recently sold a, 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 a collection of uh, SHP words. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just cleared t three shelves. Three. And so I have three empties. How back that, then. How, how does that make you feel? Back then, I would have, <laughs> like, let me just fill it up right yeah. away. Let me just buy something, fill it up. And, and I'm like, I see them. They're empty. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the same feeling that I yeah. used to have. Like, that, I, that immediate... You know, I want to fill them up right away. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that shows me a little bit. That, oh, yeah, it's because you now you're more meticulous of what you want mm -hmm. to put in those shelves, and you know, eventually, like you said, with time, you know, you know what, with with time and patience, we'll, I, get, I, I, we'll, we'll get that shelf filled mm -hmm. up. You know, by the end, and, and if you could still make a go ahead by the end of the year yeah. or by the end of the month, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Now, if something does come up tomorrow or so, and and it's it's. All, all stars on all planets align, all stars align, mm -hmm. and, and you know what? We can, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Then why not? But at the end of the day, it's just being more patient because I mean that's the same same thing with me. I mean, with time, you understand, like, man, dude. I mean, I could have been a little bit more patient, you know. But then there's also them times that you know somebody else wants that piece, mm -hmm. and then that's also drives you too. So that's another, okay. that, and, and that's so the that's reason why me, me and you have an understanding. We 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 even talked about it, you know, you know, we we, we talked about we're not going to bid against each other, you know. Mm -hmm. how we we have an understanding. So, but then there are explain also, that understanding. Explain for so, people that they don't. They okay, don't, they so don't. the understanding between me and you is whoever finds a piece first it, via eBay, eBay, um, a car, what, whatever it is, whatever it, it, is. it could be a it could be a person that mm -hmm. um that you know that that's offering or, or whatever. If if we find it and and if you want it, we, we'll say hey I I want to pick this one up because we know we know pretty much who's in the market who's who's wanting out yeah who's, who's going who, after what so we, we talk about it amongst each other and we have understanding now what I you know what I like about it is that we stay true to our word because there's mm -hmm. guys that haven't done that yeah they haven't done that and and it does I'm not gonna say it puts it puts a sour taste in your mouth mm -hmm. because you trusted the guy not to you know bid you up. And there's other guys that I've talked to before, and then some have done that. And I'm like, you know, dude, if I didn't beat, bid you up, then why would you do that to me? Mm. But okay, that's fine. You know, I'm not gonna. It's hard for me, yeah, because there's there's that which is we're talking. There's that desperation in them that mm -hmm. they really rely on the figure. Now, and if you really want it, like I said, so it's it's almost like a, a piece that you gave me. Oh, my, and I'm I'm to this day I'll tell you I'm 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 so thankful that you sold me that piece. You know, you gave you mm -hmm. you know you you offered it to me. I'm like, man. Cause you know how much I wanted it, yeah. and, and you were able to get it, and uh, you know, and I know jokingly I tell you, hey, well, whenever I come with the money, you know, you're like, yeah, but then you know, it's just one of them, just uh, yeah. I thought you were know, joking, but all that, but 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 it's there, like if yeah. You want and, and so things like that, you know, it's it's one of those trust but friendships that you have with somebody that man, I could count on this guy, you know, and mm -hmm. so that's why I respect it. I respect the the word that we both have because I know I don't have to worry about that. Compared to other and it guys. happened. It has happened mm -hmm. before where you show me like, "Hey, look, I'm going after him." I'm like, "Oh man, I'm like, really, really like, <laughs> chill." I like you found it first. I wanted that piece. Mm -hmm. I wanted that set. I'm like, "Good luck, brother. I wish you the best. I'm not gonna beat you up." I, and we could have raised that, yeah, to the heavens between you and me because we both wanted it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "All right, don't you just go for it." I'm going to wait for the next set. I'm going to wait, even though they haven't come up in a while. And, th and then there's times like I tell you, yeah, you know what? I want to get it. And then I'll be, you know what? It's still, there's still auction time. We can't, we can't, I can't do it. You know what? Usually you take it or vice versa. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it works out pretty much for the, but as long as one of us has it, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. And then maybe eventually, just like what we did with the, with the, with that one piece is uh, the night boomer. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you 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 know, you held it for. I felt like you held it for me, and mm -hmm. I was really thankful for you, for you to you know, hand it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was, you know, that's something that, like I said. I, I wanted to bring that piece in for our that twenty twenty three end of the year top one of the picks, but it's just too big. Yeah, it's just too I, big. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, and that one, that piece, it was it was kind of like, not necessarily part of the understanding. But yes, you always wanted that piece. It was an eye boomer. And what happened was like, I saw it at, a, at an expo mm -hmm. and I told her, hey, I found it. Mm -hmm. Do you want it? And I was like, for some reason, you were like looking at another piece. Or That's when I was getting that prototype. The prototype. And they're like, no, I can't. I'm putting all this money into this prototype, which was pretty, pretty expensive and all that. That's why I couldn't get the prototype because I was saving up. <laughs> <laughs> to go to go to yeah. that to that to that show and then I, I i recently just bought the the boba fett i'm like i can't i can't mm -hmm. spend right now on that prototype and i was like you know what i'll i'll get it i'll get it for you not not necessarily for you i was like if he doesn't want it i'll, I'll keep it mm -hmm. it's, it's a piece that i still like and i want uh but i knew it was like something that you wanted before then i did so yeah. i when you mentioned I was like if you really want it like i it was fine. So it seems like I bought it for you. I put it the way that whatever. Yeah. You, so it's it's nice to have those understandings. Not everybody have it, and whoever has it, sometimes they don't respect it. It's hard. It's hard. And like and, and, and like I said, I get it. And it's, I mean, there's pieces that you've gotten that like, man, that's that's. But I mean, we're the, just there to congratulate each other, mm. and I'll be like, well, you spent too much money on it. Why mm. did you get that one? Or why you didn't tell me? I'm like, yeah, yeah exactly. And I, and I, I just don't understand for the life of me. I don't understand why guys could be like that. But I mean, th that's just the way they are, and that's fine. That's who they are. That's their character. You know, you want to mm -hmm. adapt to it. You can. If you don't, then you know, just don't deal with that person. But don't get me, like, I mean, I'm friendly and all that. But yeah. we have that understanding between you and I. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't respect it with people that they never show me. Yeah, no, no. Like no, I'm no. not gonna be holding, beating just from for anybody. Like, yeah. uh, don't get me wrong, I'm I'm chill and all that. But <laughs> but something when when it's mutual, I'm fine. But but if not, like it's, no, 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 yeah, 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 it's true against the world, bro. Like I'm sorry. Yeah, no, exactly. And so you know, I, I you know we know about the world and whatnot. I don't know if everybody, you know, viewing us knows about it. But you know that that's a perfect that's a perfect place to like you know a yeah. standoff right there. You yeah. know, just bidding against each other, bidding people up. I mean, I've seen it. I've I've been involved in it. I I've seen it happen numerous times. Every time you get on one night, you're gonna see that. And why did he bid me up? I can't believe he bid me up. And why would he do that? Man? Because he wanted it too, and yeah. you don't have that understanding. And everybody like. But the, but then there are understandings there at time from time to time. Like you don't bid mm -hmm. you don't bid the homies up. Is, is what. You but know. still, they still but, do it. Yeah, but they still do it. I, I've seen it happen. You know, it's happened to me. But at the same time, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let that dictate my you know my emotions and and be all upset and. and Punch no. the wall, and you know. No, I understand. I, and there's been and there's guys that there's do been that, pieces yeah. that that I've that I've wanted, and then we we're, we're both in the same room, and then I see you know. Yeah, and, and we and that's Carlos the thing. Bitter, and I'm like, oh shoot! And, but but then we text each other too. You want it? No, I don't want it. Okay, take it. I don't want it. No. And that's uh, that's awesome, dude. I, I I really I really really respect that, and that's the mm. reason why I wouldn't want to mess that up. And that's mm. why sometimes when there's guys that actually thank me for not bidding them up, and the next thing you know, the next show they're bidding me up. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Yeah. And and it's okay. Not, it's not it may it may be okay, they want the piece more than but then there's times that I negotiate it with, with, with the seller and and they're like, Okay, well we'll put it up and then all of a sudden you see somebody jump in that you know, like, why would you do that? If you know I'm I'm over it. but I get it, it's a live auction, I understand. But mm. when it's just me and that one person bidding, then I'll be like, Come on man, you know, that's and and like I said, it has happened. It's happened to me a few times. But I'm not gonna let that, you know, Mm -hmm. change my attitude or change my mind about that person it, it fine keep it if you want it that bad if you want you know but just don't be upset when i beat when, you yeah, up, yeah. When, yeah. and i won't when, do it purposely but if it's something a piece that i really want then i um yeah. th then the yeah. deal itself yeah so what would be another thing that that you would recommend to, to somebody that is starting like well ad advice the best advice i, I mean because uh, I've, I've been through this i think everybody has mm -hmm. and this is for every line you could think of um picking up them high-end pieces is one of the main things that that I know you talked about, especially when it came to turtles. Is since you see them for a good, like a good price, you tend to just to buy it without the accessories. And I think you know where I'm coming from. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And I know where you're going, and I, <laughs> I, I made that. I made that mistake. <laughs> and I think we we all have. Mm -hmm. Um. So, 
Yeah, that's one of the main things I would, you know, as a collector, and when you're going to start getting deep into it, you you know, you I would suggest buying the whole uh, high-end piece. Try to if buy you, If you're complete. collecting loose, loose, find it, yeah. wait until it's complete. At the end of the day, it's going to save you up money. Uh, yes, and time. Time. And I know there's a, a satisfaction about getting that figure because you're you're all excited. You mm -hmm. hear everybody's is calling it a grail or a high end piece and mm -hmm. all that but but and then you just want to jump on it because and some people jump on it because they think oh man it's so cheap you know i this piece is a 600 dollars piece but i'm getting it for 200 yeah okay, because the money's on the access on the accessories exactly, like, oh. exactly. see see now you, and that's what i'm saying you know that because of experience mm -hmm. now if we're talking to new collectors out there that oh that do let's be, get, you know and let's be honest we will we we've, we've all seen that video on youtube maybe or um on instagram of a guy finding a lot of accessories and mm. finding oh i found this undercover i found this yeah. high-end piece whatever accessories or and you really think that you're gonna be that one in that position trust me bro it's, <laughs> it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen you think you're gonna find is one in a thousand or two hundred? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the, what, the, is, what are the odds? The odds, but are, for are you to crazy. find those accessories cheap, mm -hmm. it's gonna be super. super it's hard. like finding a needle in a haystack. You you much, have so. to go through through through, uh, like every weekend or every day going to to state sales to yeah. oh yeah to garage sales to you need to, to find those. But, but that's something. But just think about all the time. And gas and everything you put into it. And then it's it, going to so be more expensive. It, the, uh, like, And yeah. then you find it and then, I don't know. It's just, it, it's I'm, not. But And we all seen that that story on Instagram where that great find, because that's what everybody, that's what it goes viral. And then you think it's going to be you. Yeah. It's not going to be you, brother. It's, let me tell you straight up, it's <laughs> not going to be you. The first of people. Oh, I, th right. I thought it was, oh, I thought it was going to be me where I will, I, I'm going to find this, you know, Udo Shredder canisters. And then I, what if I find it on a, on a pile? Like. I mean, you, you'll never yeah, find those, yeah. those canisters of the Euro Shredder anywhere. If you find them, it's going to be more expensive than a hot spot that, or whatever. Yes, like. yes, yes. So, so, and that's what I'm getting at. So, so some people think, you know, newer collectors will 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 think, hey, well, I mean, this piece is cheap. It's it's, it's a good price. Okay, it's, it's a reasonable good price. But once once you get start getting to the accessories, you're pretty much gonna pay. I'm not gonna say double. If you really want the accessory, it could be a possibility, but you are going to pay over you, You're definitely yeah. going to pay up. Yeah. Uh, so, and actually that, the finding a piece complete, at the end of the day, comes back to the first thing that we said, be patient. Yeah. So, be pa and that it, means, it's all connected. And that be patient with the money, with your money. So, some people think, well, I don't have, I don't have those funds. Now, I, now to, you can say, I'd rather pay up a little bit, but even now, in a way... You're kind of like paying a loan. Mm -hmm. You're paying interest. You're gonna pay up more. Yes. But you get it on payment. So, in a way, if if you like that, that's cool. Get the piece. Get one mm -hmm. accessory here, one accessory there. You're gonna end up paying more. But if you're okay but, with, but that, if yeah. that's okay with you, and that's something that you would rather pay interest. Mm -hmm. Well, but but I would say nine times out of ten, I don't. If 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 you could say, hey, well, look, overall. The, the, don't matter the time it don't matter how long it took you if you were to put this piece as 100 percent complete mm -hmm. and you just get another text hex that's just by itself i mean and they say well, okay you could get this one for the same amount of this one but at the same but it's same piece but not complete what's going to happen is that person's going to pick the, the piece that's complete mm -hmm. because it's you know it's, it's going to be less expensive now like you, you're talking about interest now you're going to find you're going to find that Lose the, figure yeah. 10 times more often than the complete one. Yeah. But that's where patient comes in. That's where the patience, that's where if, if you're really trying to save money, because I, I, I think any collector is going to do their best to try to save money. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm getting at is if, if, you, if you're talking about interest, because that's a good way to put well, it. Anyway, yeah. That's a good way to put it. If you're going to see it that way, then that's what I'm getting at is the, the, the people, the collector is going to want to go for the cheapest route at the end Complete. of the day, any any money that you save goes back to to mm -hmm. more collectible. So exactly. So I, I always call it my monito money. Yeah, I remember. So right. monito means like figure Your or whatever in Spanish. Money, yeah. So this is my monito money, right? Yeah. So this is my figure <laughs> money. This is my 
my my my my my my budget mm-hmm. let's say right like that right so so if i put my monito money and then i'm gonna spend like a lot more and being impatient i could have used that money to get more figures at the end of the yeah, day yeah. by being patient anyway so that's that's another one fine figures complete uh for me another one will be uh be more picky with the condition Condition. Especially if you're you eventually wants to or trying to to move it, I'm not that type of collector yet. Even though I just sold a a, a, a good collection mm-hmm. uh, of 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 the 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 Dragon Ball set that I had, eventually things will start moving up out of your collection. Mm-hmm. So if in the beginning you start looking on the condition more through. Throw, throw, Th- throw, throw. Yeah, you will be able to sell it easier and it probably have a better price. You will be yes. like to so look up for condition. That's that was one of the mistakes that I did. Condition in the beginning. is key. Condition is key, right? So, and that's something that I learned a lot from you. You are, and still to this day, mm-hmm. you're way, way more picky <laughs> than I am, right? So, <laughs> like for for more like not super hard to find but kind of like like high end more, co- uh, more common, common, common but high yeah. end i'm fine with a couple of, of scratches or like mm-hmm. and and paint rubs or whatever and you're not yeah, like yeah, like okay. mm, no nah, i'm gonna pass or if i if you really really want it you you get it but you're just holding it for for upgrade mm-hmm. and once i get it i don't want to upgrade i just i yeah, already yeah, have it right yeah. so I, and I, to this point because at the end of the day right i'm, I'm not thinking right now I'm not thinking on selling my collection, mm-hmm. but but if you think more, if you're more like planning to the future and Investing, eventually moving yeah. forward, look at it as an investment, and mm-hmm. you're trying to get for the best piece because it's going to be easier to move Definitely. it up 100%. at a better price once you're trying to get rid of it. So, rookie mistake, like look for veins on the cards, look for little dents on the bubble. Mm-hmm. Look for little scratches on the, because you may see this one and it looks pretty pretty decent and all complete. But a lot of collectors will will, will start they'll looking at it. Yeah, it's very it. very minimal. Because and honestly, this is not for for the year it is and all that is mm. in very very good condition. But there will be people that be like looking at little scratches, little paint rubs and stuff like that. And that's gonna be a a, a decision making like a like yeah, oh definitely. It's either that or uh, uh, they they're gonna reduce no, the money out of it. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent what you're saying. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those deals where it's, it's a lot easier to move if, if you're going to want to resell eventually, you know, um, and, and I could tell you that from experience, you know, there's guys that have bought for me. And so they know when I sell something, especially it's coming out of my PC, they automatically mm-hmm. know it's, it's going to be in really good condition because pretty much I, I'm very picky about that. You know, I don't. I don't. And I have to give you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't like to see. I don't like to see scratches or even the accessories. You know, if if, if I see that, then I just get turned off, and I I just want to get rid of it until yeah, I get yeah. you know. Until so I just like you better. say, yeah, until I get a better one. So, um, that is, that is a really good, a really good you know uh, topic. Uh, well, uh, um, advisor, uh, whatever. Advice, yeah, for for a new collector, look for condition. You man. know, if, if now some guys don't care because there's guys that be like, well. I want my son to play with it. Okay. I mean, we're not telling you what to you do. Can, yeah, we, you can and can't but it, do. It, but it, it's tips that at the long run. Yes. You might want to. Because eventually I think a collector, I, I, me personally, I think a collector is always going to have a change of heart, a change of mind for their collection or for how they're collecting mm-hmm. or what they're collecting. So, you know, eventually they might upgrade and be like, you know what? I want to start getting to high end. Okay. Well, get into high end, you know, but those are the things that we're talking about just to, just to you know, save you a little bit more money mm-hmm. in the long run, because yeah, it, it, to me, like I said, number one, I think a collector is always going to try to save as much money as possible. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's not something that we're we're telling you to do. Yeah. It's something that we wish and we we, we wish yeah. we would have done mm-hmm. differently. Like at least on my end, like I wish I would have been more picky with with my first uh, uh, Carter figures. Mm-hmm. I will see Carter figure and automatically think, oh, this is this is as long as it's still as long as it's still good. And some of them weren't even like fully sealed, <laughs> and I had to glue them. Oh, man. I, like I, I, I shared that experience before. I made that mistake of gluing mm-hmm. one of them, and later on, later on, I learned 
And that could be another 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 topic. Another topic. And, 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 with, yeah. Don't tamper with your fingers because that's gonna reduce a value. Some people say think, it's think, restoring it. Yeah. But but a lot of hardcore collectors they don't they don't like a restore. I, I, I'm, honestly, I think if you restore, you tamper with something. I just think my you might as well just. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm being serious because I, I think guys that the collectors like especially hardcore collectors you might that's just pretty much i'm not gonna say it's trash i'm not gonna say that but it's pretty much oh, oh you know it's just the waste of a figure once you you paint it in the hair or you know you try to you try to glue back a, a piece that you know the arms and, i mean it's just oh Put man paints yeah, yeah. yeah i've heard people restoring the the caballero of the night of the same and say, that's yeah. what i'm saying i'll be scared <sighs> The caballos de Zodiac, I'd be so scared to, to try to collect that because I know they're so fragile. Mm -hmm. But even and I can I can mm -hmm. you know I can own your 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 set because they're clean. But uh, just looking at them, I get yeah. scared because I don't even want you know it's just they're gonna break. No, but and, and but there's people that I, I've learned that you know since they're like uh, die cast, so it's, mm -hmm. it's metal, right? So but putting I, I, on I've the heard of, I've heard of people yeah. I've heard of people that that they polish the pieces. Like they they remove the paint, yeah, no. for them to paint it again. Oh no, repaint no, no, it no, no. to make it look like newer and all that. But you don't know that the way they paint that is kind of like like I don't know if you've seen that how do you, how they paint like the metal like they put it kind of like in a dust. Oh, it's not really. No, I've never seen that. But yeah, they, 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 it's, it's like a like a like a pile of or a, okay. So do they make it look real? They no, 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 no. I'm saying that the original, that the 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 factory oh, when okay. they painted it. It's not like a like a, a airbrush paint, yeah. or like it's not a paint. like they just paint it. It's a, it's a electromagnetic or something like that. Oh, okay, so okay. they 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 put it on a. It's like a dust of paint, and mm -hmm. they just like they charge it with. with it's a weird process, mm -hmm. but 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 it's a specific process. So people try to to polish it to paint it their own, like on their own, and they're like, no, it's not gonna be the same because yeah. it's a whole different that, process. The and then exactly. So tampering with figures, whether like carded. If you're trying to reseal, you're gonna have to disclosure that it was reseal. If you're mm -hmm. gonna glue it back, you have to disclosure it's gonna glue, glue back. Therefore, a lot of people is gonna lose interest when you're trying to exactly. sell it, right? Yep. So, tip of advice: do not tamper, <laughs> do not try to restore. It. Like there's people that I've seen, and I've seen channels that they that they they restore figures because they, you know, they probably. Uh, if it is a, a electronic like device, there's one figure that I want to restore in my collection. And okay. it's the Frankenstein. Okay. So I wanna I wanna take it to to a guy that that kind of like opens it up and and fix the the. I don't know if that's gonna affect the value or not, but for me mm. to have and to have a, it working, a so it's a difference. It's, I'm not painted and I'm just somebody's gonna open it up, maybe weld the 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 cables the or whatever the mechanical about, issues yeah. that he has. I don't know if that's that's part of the tempering that that, but for me to have it working oh, on that that's, type of that's piece, a good one. it's a sixty. Three, yeah. I mean, that, that's I. I honestly, it's as crazy as it sounds. I, I would, I would, I would want to get it working. So even though we say don't temper with it, there's, there's just, still there's still some there, there's some gray areas. There. There's some there's some you know some. But majority don't paint him. <laughs> yeah, don't don't, yeah, don't don't try to glue back a car. I've I've, I've seen that before. I've seen that plenty of times. I mean, like I said, I get guys that that bring in collections to the store, and and you could tell things have been glued People, in. There's a lot of a lot of, of the same molds on on accessories. Mm -hmm. So I've seen people trying to paint it over, especially in, uh, oh, I, I got I got a GI Joe. Yeah, they're they trying to paint over some accessories, and, and it's such an ugly feeling to to feel like they just got they try to get over you. Yeah, you and then they did. Yeah, because it, I didn't check on time, whatever. But 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 still, you know, there, there's like there's whole type of things, you know, mm -hmm. that that don't temper with the figures. So so my my next one would be. A little bit about, you know, just kind of piggyback on, on, on the tampering would be um, the grading. Mm. Now we're going to get into a little bit of grading. Mm. And we talked about this uh, on the last podcast, um, well, a few podcasts before this one. Um, um, we don't, I mean, I've this happened to me. W once you start getting into grading, you know, that, that's a whole different animal, a whole different universe, mm. you know. If, so from it's being a, a whole, yeah. it's a new, a higher level, a newer level yeah, of collecting yeah. on the collecting and world. And so, and so, sometimes you're just excited to have a loose piece, or you, or you have a, um, um, a mock, and you're thinking, well, you know, you're not too familiar with the grading, so you just submit it. You think, you know, and and eventually, like I said, it costs you money to do that. It costs you mm. money and time because I think everybody's impatient when it comes to grading because they just want their pieces. As soon as they get them, they send them out. They want them back already. Mm. 
So that's, you know, and like the first, like I said, the first, first piece that I sent out to get graded was an R2D2 pop up and it came back a, a 60. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, this thing was, I thought it was super clean. Like, uh-huh. how, why would it come back a 60? And then, you know, like I started looking at, I started looking into it. Like, what was why? the reason behind it? Yeah, well, why? You know, and and I started seeing these other R2s. Like, man, this one's greater <laughs> 80. I'm like, oh, crap. But you can see the big, big difference the, of, yeah, of, the of, of the sticker. Yeah, the sticker. Especially on, the, the on, on that piece. Yeah. The dome. You see, I seen all that. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. Mm. And I just felt like, man, I waited this long. I'm not going to say I not gonna say I spent a bunch of money because, but when, when you're submitting a bunch of figures, uh-huh then it becomes expensive. So I submitted about like five figures, I believe it. And that was my first time submitting an actual. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, let me see what this comes back. You know, true story. I, uh, I had a, I have, I had, I still have it. I have a combat belt Batman, you know, on card and I sent it off and, and they rejected it. What? And, uh, AFA sent it back and they said that we can't because it's, it's resealed. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And that was part of the. And you didn't notice, or I just I did not notice it. I I don't know where. And I was looking. I like how 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 did they figure this out? How, how, when you, know? you get a back, you when you get a back, you say, "Oh, I can see it now." Or it was just... no, I, I I didn't I didn't I mean I seen a little bit of, of like some white substance, but I didn't think anything of it. I didn't you know I just mm. didn't I just didn't you know think anything of it. Did I, you talk with the guy that you got it? Or uh, you got I, it from I, I, bought, I bought it from a store, mm-hmm. and I bought it for what being a mock Mm. so you know and and, but this was when i bought it this was months maybe a year later when i because you yeah after yeah yeah, so i can't go back over there a year later and be like hey y'all sold me a a piece that's not even you know 100 percent sealed and so yeah that 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 left a bad taste in my mouth like crap man and and the thing about afa at that time when you still submit something they still charge you for it even though they don't grade it because they they have to put the time and all that Yeah. yeah no 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 so Things like that, is, it's it's one of those deals where, you know, once you start getting to that level of grading, mm-hmm. just, you know, be sure what you're, you know, look, look, do your research. Yeah. Do your research. Sometimes you have expectations of, of getting a grade that you're, ex- it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. And I think, what you know, the, the last episode we did in English, it was in English? Yeah, the the 2023? No, yeah, the, the, the last episode we did was, uh yeah. Uh, the, 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 when we showed off our five favorite figures. Think, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um yeah like that you know it's it's one of those deals where the shredder i didn't think it was going to come back that great i thought mm. it was going to come in lower grade and then eventually you get a better yeah, grade yeah. and so it could be a good thing and a bad thing but i think with, once you start getting experience doesn't make you an expert an expert but it gives you it gives you you know a, at least some kind of mm. some kind of knowledge yeah of, of of what you want to grade, what you like, we talked about the bow fit, your bow fit, the, mm-hmm. the the rocket firing. I we I told you, you know what, it, it's gonna get between in this and and the guy that that you know, not the rocket firing, the removable the rocket. Re- re- no, I wish. Okay, I wish the rocket fire. Okay. Huh? Well, we know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we kind of figured what grade it would get, and and it pretty much came back at that grade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, still at the end of the day, happy with it. We understood, mm-hmm. and and it's just an understanding. But if we would have told you, would have hyped you up and be like, man, that thing is gonna make an 80, eighty-five, uh, and then uh, it comes down, yeah, then. you're gonna be like, oh man, well, what happened? Mm-hmm. So you know, and and no, it was a realistic, yeah, yeah, yeah realistic. Yeah. Let's be realistic here. So some sometimes the grading companies do miss things, but at but majority of times, nine, nine not, times yeah, out of ten, they're, it's they're, not, they're it's, on the right. you know, it's not gonna, you know, they're in the mm-hmm. right. But yeah, so so that those that's something that you know when it comes to grading, it it does become an addiction to me. It does. <laughs> Because if you notice, I have a bunch of pieces that are graded, mm-hmm. and and uh, I want to be grading figures, but I want to make sure that when I'm sending them in, I'm getting I'm sending something. You're that's getting the, be the grades. Yeah, you, you want to grade them, but yourself, you don't want to you don't want to buy them grading. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Um, another one that I will say is, and I still have them. Um, I'm I'm gonna be a little bit a uh, hypocrite here. Okay. Because I don't think I I do it. I'm I'm getting better at it, <laughs> but but. <laughs> In a way, I'm getting better at it than, than compared to, to 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 the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. And it'll be cr- do a, create a budget, stick uh, stick to it. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. I've seen I've seen so many people just going off, uh, and I could name a few, but I don't want I don't want to put well, names. When you say but going know, off, as in what? Just going off on like just buying, 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 buying okay. because they get excited. Is is their their first? 
well, let's call it like the first love. Mm-hmm. And then just like super excited, super hyped up and then buying turtles, turtles, turtles. And I've seen guys going like crazy. And I, and I used to beat them up and like be, going to bid wars on, on whatnot and stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, it was a good fun. And then a couple of months later, they start selling everything off. Mm. I'm like, you didn't last like well, let me six ask you, months into Let me ask you this. When you see them sell it, do you sell it for what they at least got it for? They, they were trying either? to because... Now, when you're selling, you think that there's going to be people like you when you were buying. Yes. Trying to get it off of your hands. Mm-hmm. And that's, that doesn't happen. It's not that easy to to, to sell. It, it, sometimes, like, there's going to be a collector who's going to, like, looking for exactly the piece that you're selling and all that. And then you may get lucky and all that. And then you you, you sell it off real quick. Yeah. But but mo- most, you know, often than not, you're not going to sell it right away. You're not going to sell it. Especially if you pay top price, you're not gonna sell it uh, uh, what you pay for. Especially if you add the taxes and the ship and all yeah. that, so you're gonna you're gonna take a, a, a um, you're gonna take a hit. You're gonna take a hit. And what happened? Like you didn't make a budget, and he went all off, mm-hmm. and then that might have caused problems with with your partner or like talking about your family or mm-hmm. something like that. And then just but if you could have waited and you could going back to the main one, being Be patient. patient. You could have just got a couple of figures in this month and then go to the next. And then you could have lasted longer <laughs> on, on, on the collecting, right? Yeah. So, but I've seen more than more than a few. They're going to like buy and buy and buy. And mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you don't see them on one night anymore. And then you see on their Instagram, they're selling off the stuff. And I'm like, what happened, man? Like, I'm glad it didn't happen to me because I really went crazy in the beginning with turtles and all that. But, but, uh, and, and I try to stop you a few times like, hey, you, yes, you did. Hey, and like, I, I didn't listen. Hey, like, I, 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 I like you're lying to yourself. Don't do that. Yeah, I, 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 I won't. I, I won't. I won't. I like just. And then all of a sudden, next day, I, I had it on on the way, right? So, <laughs> so, but I mean, thankfully, you know, I, I've been blessed, uh, yeah. you know, with this collection and, and and you know with what I do. So I, I'm 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 content. I'm happy. But definitely, good advice. Like make a budget. Like make a long a long-term plan Mm -hmm. for your collection. Like if you want to collect, let's say you want to get into turtles and then people a lot, I've got a lot of people say like, Oh, I'm I'm collecting turtles. I'm like, good luck. Be patient. Cause turtles, turtles, transformers, GI Joe, it's a long, especially if you want to collect not only figures, but vehicles, places mm -hmm. and all that giants, minis, well, see that, that that's what I'm, that's what I was gonna get at too right now. What, what you're explaining, when you if you're gonna collect into one of those type of lines, just know what you want to collect. Cause remember what we talked about mm-hmm. is that if you want to collect only high end, then collect high end. If you want to collect only comments, then collect comments. A GI Joe, if you want to collect the whole eighty two batch, collect it. If you want to collect the the Tiger Force and then the Night Force, then- I feel like I'm gonna clarify that. I, I think it's a good topic, but but the way that you said it, I feel like I find it a little bit hard to 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 find out the thing is when you're starting you mm-hmm. don't know what you want to collect it's very hard you think you know because I, I, at least on my experience mm-hmm. and then everything that i got in the first six months the first year mm-hmm. i'm trying to sell off like sell it off because now after that i found my focus excuse me i wanted to focus on vintage and then now and then my, other people might find a different focus and then if you're starting with turtles now you 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 realize that you want modern or you want this and mm-hmm. sometimes you don't find your 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 focus right away so to kind of fix up a little bit that 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 would you say my kind of like compliment to that is like do a research, research before you jump into collecting like research what areas what factions because mm-hmm. even in the same line there could be different faction vintage modern um, yeah, nowadays diecast yeah. uh, resin sofuvi or soft sort of vinyl or uh, all kinds there's of all kind of just in the, in the type of figures and then and then you go by year you go by if it is gi- giants like or three, well, three well, the, the, the size yeah so so just yeah pretty much research Pretty much, what, yeah, that's what I was going to get at, the, the research part of it. I, I just think if somebody's going to get into something like, I, I mean, me personally, my experience when I wanted to collect the line, I, I did do a little bit of research before I got into it. Now, you, you may have been a little different. And that's what I say. So it's, it's a both best of both worlds if you want to say that. We, 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 you know, we collected different. I was different. a bull rushing into the <laughs> arena. Man. I was no, just... I, I wasn't. And the reason why I was like that is because 
some of us don't have those kind of funds to just a bull rush. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have those kind of funds just to, I'm going to get all these high-end pieces in one day Mm. or in a week or in a month. When you, when you know, when some people are, 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 are wanting to get into high end and know when high end you're going to spend some money, I think they're going to be a little bit more patient. But when you're, when you're starting off as a collector and you're like, okay, you know, turtles could range from this much to this much because eventually they're going to have to know that. Mm. So I, I, me personally, when I started collecting, I was looking at, I was looking at, at, at prices. I really yeah. was. And, and I did that right away from the get go. Mm. I just, that was just in me to do yeah. that. And more so because when I started collecting, I was in high school. You know, I, I didn't have I didn't have a full time job. I wasn't making yeah. that kind of money to buy. So you were more yeah. Perso- more more. Yeah. So not not, not 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 a lot of us that have you know we we have the the action figure money like you said we have that figure mm-hmm. money because we put it to the, the side the monito money the monito money yeah we put it to the side <clears throat> because we know okay we know what we're gonna get into now mm. new collectors like you said some of them don't know and some of them could know if they just do a little bit of research. Me personally, I did that when I first started co- collecting again. Well, not again, but I'm gonna say, okay. So remember, I I started when I was young, you know, and then I stopped, got into the racing, and then the racing scene, and then I got back into it. So when I got back into, it, remember, I said, you know what, I'm gonna start going hard into the high end stuff. Mm-hmm. That right then and there is when I knew more. So I need to be. I'm not gonna say I was patient, but I did a lot more research than what I. Now, the more knowledge you get, the easier it, it is. Mm-hmm. But even before then, prior to when the racing scene and all that, I, I did collect. And the, and the more knowledge you get, the less likely you're going to be fooled. You, oh, you're going to make mistakes. Because even though it's a, it's, a, it's a very, there's majority, there's like nice vendors around mm-hmm. the, the industry. You were going to stumble. You're going to stumble. And yeah. I've had my, 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 my fair share of. Mm-hmm. Of buying from people, we both that, have that. They're just in assholes. it for the money. Like, yeah. They're yeah, just in it for the. It's just a, and it's they don't care lying about the condition, and then you believe it, and then I'm unfortunately, or I don't know, fortunately for them, I don't know, but I'm I'm not a, a, a one of those people that will just like make a, a five for the money. Like I got fooled. I mm. learned about it. I'm not even gonna complain. And then you've told me like, hey, no, just tell him like, com- like complain about it. Like maybe he can make it out. Like, oh no, I'm just too, yeah. uh, I'm like, I'm just not gonna buy from him anymore, right? And, and like I said, and we like I said, that's where we're different. We're, I, I'm a little bit more vocal mm-hmm. on certain things, but I also turn the other cheek at times. But I think that when that happens is, you know, I gave you the opportunity to make things right. Yeah, that's true. If you didn't make things right, you know, and 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 I addressed I, it. I for some reason don't have. It's 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 an issue an issue for me, to confront people. I I but that's a personal thing. Like mm-hmm. that's nothing. Yeah, it's not an issue. It's uh, a personal thing. It's a personal thing that I hate to confront people. Like when I get a, a, a if I if I ask a, like a medium steak and then I get it like medium well, I would rather eat it. <laughs> <laughs> they confront the 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 the, 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 the waiter. The or, waiter, yeah. even though she didn't make it, instead of confront, I, I will be. I'm just so very <laughs> like I'm. I'll, I'll eat it. Like I don't like confrontation. I don't like. I, I mean, you could be confrontational, at, you know, and but be, be respectful, respectful. But I, I'm. I'm. That's what I'm saying. And, and that's and that's so. That's the way I approach. I don't approach people like if it happened to me before. I don't approach them. By cussing them out and saying you you know you're this and you're that, I don't approach them that because it could be a mistake. It no, could no, have no. been a mistake. So I don't that's what I say. I give them an opportunity to make things to right. Make things right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it could happen to me. Me that I I'm more out there to resell. Mm-hmm. I would you know if I if I did something wrong, I would want to make things right because I wouldn't want that person to, and not so much to be. You know, you could be a candidate that maybe later on they want to get high end. So they you know what they come to me and they ask me, hey, you got some high end stuff? Yeah, mm-hmm. I got some stuff for you. You know, so yeah, you, you don't want to lose that client. Exa- you want to make exactly. things right and all that. No, nah, but for me, it's like I don't know. I just don't like confrontation. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I I rather like eat the 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 nip it in the, the butt. cooked up yeah, yeah, yeah. steak and not say anything. But um, that's just how my. But but that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Do your research. Try to to don't let like at one time I bought a figure as a complete. And it wasn't complete. 
Why? Because I didn't make a research. I didn't. I, I, I didn't do my research. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what the figure was supposed to come with, and then I trust the the word of the seller. Well, let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you this. So when you say complete, let's let's say that they're um showing you pictures, and and you think okay, it it, it looks it looks complete. It's complete. They're showing you pictures, or they're um they're describing the item for mm -hmm. you that it's in good condition. It's hundred percent complete. You take the person's word for it. Um. And then once you receive it and you see that it's not a complete, how did you know it's not complete? Did you do? Your I usually do prior? my research after. Prior or after? You after, after? No, after. I, I bought it because I did it in my research prior. Mm -hmm. And now, for some reason, it's just a bad combination with me. It's like I don't like confrontation. I could have asked him for a refund, and then it was a live auction and one nut and all that, and I could have confronted him, and then I could have said, "Hey, you know, you told me it was complete and it mm -hmm. wasn't, and I bought like a lot from that guy." Uh, and just to be lied like that, I was mm. like, I'm just not gonna buy from him anymore. Yeah. And it was, it, I don't know, it was a bad situation. I just, I don't like confrontation. I could have said something. I could have got my money back. I could have. Well, well, just think about it like this. So, sometimes, sometimes it, I'm, it, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you you should be pro confrontational or not confrontational. You know, you, that's your character. That's who you are. I mean, so be it. Like I said, me, the way I am is I'll address it and I'll be respectful about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm, you know, I'm going to talk to you right. You know, can you make things right now? Like you said, but the problem is when you have people that are like that, just think about the other people that will do like that as well. Because that yeah. same person did things. And I know, I know we're talking, I know who you're talking about because we both know the story. You know, we're going to say no names, but um, yeah, he did the same thing to me and he's done it to other people. And that's, that's where it becomes an issue because you have collectors that that are passionate and that so just think about it that way you know if it happens yeah. to me it's gonna happen to so to somebody less let, experienced let, even, even less let's put a less stop, less stop to it you know and, and let's try mm. to help help each other up because yeah, yeah, they, just sing, it, single out those vendors yeah. those those sellers and they're like trying not to yeah to, in the community because which of course you know when you have when the community is good. Everybody's working together. You know, we all have understanding. We're, you know, congratulating each other. Whatever you want to say. It Things are going good. Things are good. But yeah. then you have that, you know, then, oh, man, this guy screwed me over. And then now I need you to be behind my back to try to talk smack about this guy. And, and you don't want to you I, don't want to do all that. You, you, I, I, I'm and, not trying to and, do and, that. Either, and, you know, and see, that's, that's what happened. Another friend of ours. He was trying to to call him out, and he did call him out. Yeah, he, 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 he like I said, we're all different. And, and he was telling me like, do it, and then share this. And I'm like, I didn't confront <laughs> him to ask for my figure. Like, I'm not gonna confront. Like, it's yeah, not even I, to feel like I'm choosing. Like, <laughs> as much as I want to make things right, <laughs> if I didn't confront him when I had the time and the opportunity to make it right, I'm not gonna confront him right mm -hmm. now and expose him, and then I, I'm just just not I'm not yeah, like that. But yeah, and, and that's see, that's what I'm saying. That like, maybe a lot of people. That's why a lot of people may take advantage of me or trying to make it. But 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 I mean I'm not that stupid either, right? So yeah. I'm not gonna. But, but no. So you, like I said, being respectful. I, like I said, me I was respectful until until at the end. Yeah, I cursed him out. I'm not gonna say I didn't. You know, I gave him a piece of my mind. But guess what? He's not taking any more of my money. Mm -hmm. Just put. And so I put it in the past. So when I when I hear when I hear things like that happening, you know, if somebody is now if somebody were to ask me, hey, what do you think about this guy? I'll be honest, like he's not. Oh a, no no no, for real, yeah yeah, don't don't do that, so, don't so, don't buy from him, yeah. Well, you know, then you have then you have you know uh, you know like the friend we're talking about that you know put him on blast, yeah you know hey I put it I put it behind me, I I don't want to think about it no more, you know mm -hmm. I, I'm done with it. If if he wants to start a movement and like. F this mm -hmm. guy, then that's fine. I'm not gonna tell him no. Don't do that. That's bad. Like, hey, by all means, yeah, I know. Do no, it. I share it. Share. But I, I'm not gonna put myself in that category because me personally, I just put it behind me. I yeah. don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about you know what happened before, because you know this happened when I already have the knowledge. When I already have you know what I know, and this guy's gonna do things like this just to make an easy buck. And mm -hmm. you know it's pretty much what I told him, dude. You just. That's all you're doing is just trying to make easy easy dollar. And, easy dollar. And so what happens is when you have a new collector coming in, you know, you're going to screw that guy over. Like, come on, dude. Like, why mm. would you do that? You know, if it's this is something that, like you said, we're not doing this because it's our job. We're doing this because we're trying to escape from our job. Yeah, we're exactly. I'm not the, trying to make it. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. trying to escape that, you know, the actual real world where we want to we want to mm. go to our fantasies where we're looking at our figures where we, we just, some. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. 
I, I don't know who doesn't do this, but I'm pretty sure you sit back and you just look at your collection. And you, no, and, absolutely. And it's an enjoyment, and That's you're just happy I mean. where to from where you started to where you got at, you know. And you know, there's more to come because I know for a fact you cannot sit here and say. I'm done collecting. I'm where I want to be, and that's it. Mm. No, there's always new right. collections. So, so yeah, no, and you're totally right. Uh, uh, and well, at the end of the day, what we're trying is not to to tell you how to collect. Mm. I'm not. We're not trying to come across. It's just like, advice that we yeah, can, from experience. It can be. You can call it advice, or you can just call it experiences that we've had sharing. You know the experiences to to try to make your road less bumpy than ours. Yeah. They so. Will be, yeah. So that's kind of like like what we wanted to talk today, um, maybe just kind of sharing some of some of our experiences, uh, not trying to 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 come across of a, a know it all or anything oh, like that. The, it's just like a, to do or not to do. Yeah, what to do? No, at the end of the day, it's, yeah. it's it's up to you if you want to go off and then you want to spend all your money and then you want to. You know, go for a high end, incomplete, <laughs> being impatient. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, it's your money, it's your collection. Uh, but definitely, we're just trying to to share what we could have done. I felt like what we could have done better. Not it, not it, necessarily that I will regret. Yeah. But I felt like I could have done it better. I could have done it slower. I could have done it. Uh, uh, I don't know. More peak could have been more and, and picky. That's, and that's the thing. I mean, there's do time, more research. There was times that I actually tried to tell you, give you advice, like, hey, don't you know, don't. And if you want to take it, you don't want to take it. If you do, you do. That that's just how mm-hmm. it goes, you know. As long as that like you just mentioned, we're not we're not here to to tell the people. But if we could reach one person that and that might help them out, then that's cool. cool. Yeah, that, that's, hopefully that's hopefully that that's helps enough. out. Yeah, hopefully that helps out. And yeah, if we miss any any good advice or any experience that you may have, yeah, just put it on the share comments. it on the comments, guys. Tell me what 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 you guys have experienced. What was the rookie or the newbie or the, mistakes? The that new you, two thousand or the new, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, the things that that you might have, and, and you know, like maybe it's a little bit uh sometimes, uh um, uh, um sh- not shameful, but it's kind of like. To be it, it, one can be shy to share mm-hmm. a bad experience, but just think about it like it can help some somebody else. Well, I some. think I don't th- honestly. This is one of those one of those categories where I think everybody's gonna have a moment. And everybody's I'm pretty sure everyone has that experience where like, oh man, I, I wish I would have waited. I wish I would have yeah. done this. I wish I would have done that. Mm-hmm. So share share in the comments. Uh, thank you guys. If you if you if you got to this point of the video, I really appreciate yeah. you guys. Thank uh, you guys. Thank you for the support. Maybe uh, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. You know? It really helps the channel. Uh, share it with your friends, with, uh, with your family, with your yep. everybody. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. Uh, that that guy. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> just chunky right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm really happy with this one, though. By the way, I put it here. I, I'm really excited about this one. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys.